the inequality, a plus b plus c, plus 3 over a b plus b c, plus c a, is greater than or equal to 4. Given that, a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, equals 3. And a, b and c are positive real numbers. We notice that, the inequality to be proved contains a plus b plus c, and a b plus b c, plus c a. And the given condition also contains, a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared. These algebraic expressions, are related through the formula, a plus b plus c all squared, equals a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, plus 2 times a b plus b c, plus c a. So a b plus b c, plus c a, is equal to, a plus b plus c all squared, minus a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, over 2. As a squared, plus b squared, plus c squared, equals 3. So we can now write, equals a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3 over 2. Then the left hand side of the inequality, can be written as, a plus b plus c, plus 6 over a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3. Therefore, proving that, a plus b plus c, plus 3 over a b plus b c, plus c a, is greater than or equal to 4, if and only if, proving that, a plus b plus c, plus 6 over a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3, is greater than or equal to 4. As a b and c are positive real numbers, so a b plus b c, plus c a, is greater than 0. So a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3, must be greater than 0. Multiply the inequality by a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3, we have, proving that the inequality holds, if and only if, proving that, a plus b plus c, times a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3, plus 6, is greater than or equal to, 4 times a plus b plus c all squared, minus 3. By rearranging the inequality, we have, proving that the inequality holds, if and only if, proving that, a plus b plus c, all cubed, minus 4 times a plus b plus c, all squared, minus 3 times a plus b plus c, plus 18, is greater than or equal to 0. Note that, the inequality contains a plus b plus c, all cubed, a plus b plus c, all squared, and a plus b plus c. So for simplicity, we let x equal a plus b plus c. Then we have, proving that the inequality holds, if and only if, proving that, x cubed, minus 4x squared, minus 3x, plus 18, is greater than or equal to 0. How to prove that, the cubic algebraic expression is greater than or equal to 0. We notice that, when x equals negative 2, the cubic algebraic expression is equal to, negative 2 all cubed, minus 4 times negative 2 all squared, minus 3 times negative 2, plus 18, which is 0. So the cubic algebraic expression, must have a factor x plus 2. Next, we will factorize the cubic algebraic expression. We write negative 4x squared as 2x squared minus 6x squared. x cubed plus 2x squared, can be written as, x squared times x plus 2. Negative 6x squared, minus 3x, plus 18, can be written as, negative 3 times 2x squared plus x minus 6. 2x squared, plus x minus 6, can be written as, 2x minus 3, times x plus 2. Now both terms have a common factor x plus 2, so they can be factorized and written as, x plus 2, times x squared minus 6x, plus 9. x squared minus 6x, plus 9, is equal to, x minus 3 all squared. As x plus 2 is greater than 0, and x minus 3 all squared, is greater than or equal to 0. So the cubic algebraic expression is greater than or equal to 0. Hence, the original inequality holds. The proof is complete now.